Lions are a very strange team statistically. Uh, what do you see in their offense that's making them so effective, and Goff in particular? They create explosive plays. Um, Goff plays at a high level. He's a very accurate passer, downfield, intermediate, off the play action. And then their two runners have taken it to the distance a few times. They're both, you know, a little bit different, but both very good. Um, you know, they've scored 30 points four times. And six of the losses, four of them have been four points or less. The other one against the Cowboys, it was 10 to six with three minutes, 20 seconds left. So um, explosive team, uh, good football team. And we're going to do a good week of practice. How are Neil and Bellinger doing this week? Uh, Belly will still be out today and Neil will start working. How about uh, where's Shane and you at? Uh, he'll be practicing. We'll, we'll, you know, see how it goes this week, but I think he's improved from where he was last week. Um, so we'll take it one day at a time here. See, I think, you know, I'm hopeful. How do you view that left guard position when Shane's back, when Bredesen's back? I mean, how has Josh played, I guess, maybe to start yeah, there? Josh is doing a good job. I think, you know, I'm confident in all those guys that, that play inside there. And like we always do each week, we'll go all the way up to Friday after practice, see how it goes for the week, and then make our decisions. When a, when a team has scored as the, that, at the rate that Detroit has, obviously mm -hmm. you mentioned at least 30 in four games. Mm -hmm. how, how do you view that? I mean, there's statistically, but then there's also the reality of what you see on film. You almost, is there an emphasis that, you know what, we know we got to score to keep up with them? Or do you find ways defensively to try to hold them down? Yeah, I mean, every, every game is different. I mean, look, they create explosive plays. The other thing they're really good at is down in the red zone of, of finishing drives. So, um, you know, it's a team effort every week of, of how you need to play a game. And, um, but they're, they're an explosive team, no question about it. Um, so it kind of all works together with special teams, offense, defense. Um, we we'll have to do a good job of, of trying to slow them down and make sure we're tackling and not giving up 50 yard runs that they break through and taking care of the deep part of the field and, and things like that on defense. And then, you know, offensively do our job in terms of executing and, and trying to go down and score points and then creating field position in the kicking game, which another good, another good team. Um, you know, Dan's run a variety of fakes since he's been there. Uh, fake onside kicks, surprise onside kicks, fake punts. Um, you know, FIP does a good job on special teams, so uh, we're going to have to play well. Coach, Coach um, Aiden Hutchinson is leading your team in sacks and yeah. hits. Um, what are you seeing in him? Yeah, good player. He's selected, you know, that's why he's selected high. I think he made a great play against Chicago, too, which led to an interception off of a screen pass to a tight end. He recognized it. He kind of dropped back, made fields, throw it over the top. Kudu picks it off, runs it back. Uh, instinctive, can play a wide variety of spots, you know, can play inside some, does a good job on his field goal rush with his movement. A good football player. If you watch Monday night's game, it seemed Washington was able to take some of the explosiveness out of Philly by controlling the ball. Is that an option for you? Washington and Philly? Yeah. I mean, the sense of you control the ball, you take away some of the explosiveness of the Lions. For Detroit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah no, I think there's a way to play every game. Um, that's what we work towards during the week, um, you know, whether that's control the ball, score point. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into it based on how they play too. Um, that's what we're trying to work through here. Do you, do you know Dan Campbell at all in your yeah. travels? What, what do you yeah, as, as a matter of fact, when I was the coordinator um, for Tony Sperano, uh, Tony said, hey, I got this guy um, that I think would be good. I just, you know, why don't we interview him? You don't, you know, you, you take care of the interview. So I interviewed Dan. Um, it was a great interview. I mean, he's slamming chairs on the ground and hitting walls and going through all these drills. And, and you guys know him. He's a fantastic person, great family. And uh, it was an entertaining uh, interview. Uh, knew a lot, obviously very passionate, uh, tough as nails, you could tell. But um, I'm sure, heck, he was he was out of breath in half that interview, the stuff he was doing. Yeah, great guy. And what do you think of the job he's done? There? Yeah, no, I think they, they played. I mean, he's a tough guy, um, very smart. And that's the way his team plays. There was a play the other day where I think it was in the fourth quarter where Daniel kind of slid, but kind of went, you know, 
body first if he ends up taking a hit by it. Yeah, he got the first out. Do, do you have a coaching point to that? Like, are you all right with him going down like that? Do you want him to slide? Do you want him to be careful about taking the hits there? Yeah, I think I think the situations are all different, you know, based on where we're at and what he needed. Um, you know, I, I trust he's going to take care of himself. But then there's an element of competitiveness and making sure we get the first down too. And that um, you know, was a big play for us that he did. He's done a good job with that. I got, you know, he's out there with the ball in his hands. You got to react in a split second. Um, you can coach it all you want, but but you know, competitive players, the athletic quarterbacks, um, you know, they have to learn how to do that. I think Daniel's done a good job of it, and I'm glad he got the first down there. And on a bigger picture, with him, how important is it for his evaluation for him? He hasn't done it yet in his career to stay healthy and last through all 17 games. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about that. I'm just focused on getting ready to play the Lions and helping him be the best he can be. When you, when he, uh, does the procedure he had in the offseason make a play like that any more concerning to you when you see it? No. Nope. When he's playing as well as he is, is there a temptation to open things up? Obviously, he's got to run out of the team this season, but I mean, he had a 153 pass right the other day. I mean, he was almost perfect in a lot of ways. Uh, uh, is there a temptation to give him more? Yeah, I, no, I think Pat asked that after, was after the game or the next day about conservative or what, we just try to do what we think we need to do for that week. Um, you know, whatever that is, that's what we're going to try to do. You, you think you could win a shootout if you, if you had to? Yeah. I mean, whatever we need to do, that's what we, that's, that's what we're charged with. Um, every game's different. Every situations in game that come up are different. Um, you know, we just try to call it uh, game plan the way we think we need to. And as an offensive coach, do you like shootouts? I like winning. So whether it's three to two and 45 to 48, that, and our job is to try to find a way to win. Um, however that is, that's what I like. Just to clarify, Campbell did not get the job. After he did. Oh, we got Absolutely. the job. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't, I just wanted... Absolutely. And okay. he was there like the next day at 530, okay. power cleaning and squatting. Okay. And, um, <laughs> I, I wasn't there with him. I was watching him. But, uh, yeah. No, he absolutely did. Okay. He's, he's great. I loved working with him. Are you comfortable with Leo and Dex playing as much as they are? Do you need to find a way to spell them a little more? Yeah, again, much like we just try to do whatever we think we do to win the game. Um, but you, you don't know, have we, a long term. Yeah, no, we have. Look, those guys are those guys are in shape. We'll give Dex some time off here today. Um, you know, they're really, you know, they're good players for us. And when they need spells, we'll give them spells. Um, but they've done a good job so far. You talked the other day about trying to practice Saquon smart. Yeah. What do you try to do with him during the week to make sure he gets the Sunday? Yeah, well, we make sure we give all of the running backs reps in there so he's not taking every single rep. Um, if we have to back off some, we back off some. Again, every player is a little bit different. You treat them, um, treat them fairly based on you know what they go through during the week of a game too. Um, he takes a lot of shots. And you know, him and I have good conversations. If he needs something, um, I'm more than happy to give it to him. You guys signed uh, Vernon Butler to the yeah. practice squad. Was that a product in part because you were moving Mondo up and you wanted another? Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, it's like the offensive line. You try to get as many of them in there as you can. Um, yeah, I know Vernon. Joe knows Vernon. Uh, came in, had a little bit of a workout, so I thought he'd be a good addition to a practice squad. Are Feliciano and Belton full, full over there? Or yeah, Felice is good. Belton will be limited. He, he had an X-ray the other day. Was that? Yeah, he'll be he'll be he'll he'll be fine. He's just limited today. Brian, does uh does Kenny Galladay need to earn his way back into the lineup for this week, or how do you view his situation? Yeah, no, to me it's the same every week when we go through practice. We practice Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then we sit down Friday and decide exactly what we're going to do, give everybody reps, um, go week by week. He talked about how this is sort of the toughest stretch of his you know, professional career, and mentally it seemed. How do you see him holding up, and do you have to sort of continue to check in there to, to make sure that, you know, he's no, I'd say I'd say Kenny's a pro. I mean, he's done comes in, works hard, listens in the meetings, goes through the walkthroughs, practices. Um, he's been a pro. But how do you how do you then, you know, make sense of that? I mean, he's never been a guy who's had a ton of trouble catching the ball. I was, you know, he's that, that's a play he, he's, you know, he's made probably a thousand times before it. And then he's, 
missing those pretty cons- not not consistently, but more way more than he probably has ever done in the past. Yeah, I know. I just think we take it week by week and go out there and practice and see how it goes at the end of the week. Why, why is your defense so good in the red zone? Execution. I mean, it's they execute well. It's it's not like very complicated in terms of you know if you do your job, you give yourself a chance to to make a play or execute a particular whether it's offense, defense, whatever it may be. Those guys do a good job each week of honing in on a game plan. Coaches do a good job of installing a game plan, and you know at the end of the day, the players got to make the plays down there. Um, it's been important, you know. It's, they've done a good job of holding them out. Coach, how about, how about Thibodeau against the run? Mm-hmm. How do you like, like, talk about him, the way he's playing and run. Yeah, no, I think he's done a good job. I think Drew does a really good job with him. Um, he understands, you know, the importance of setting the edge and knockback and getting off blocks. And, you know, he, we ask him to do a variety of things, you know, just not setting the run, but dropping, rushing. I think he's, he's made progress since he's been here.